Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Today on the channel, we'll be starting Wave 5 of Masters of the Universe Origins. And the first figure we'll be doing in the line is Fisto. But here are the rest of the four, along with Fisto, in the line. So we got Faker, Evil Robot of Skeletor. We have the Lords of Power Merman, which is a little bit different from the Lords of Power that we got from that uh, five pack exclusive to of course Fisto heroic hand to hand fighter and the 2000X version of Evil Lynn but today we'll be focusing on Fisto only Let me get these out of the way real quick So just a, a, just a reminder, guys, that I will be doing a He Skeletor review soon. I'm waiting for a good friend of mine that he, he purchased three of them, and he's allowing me to buy one of his. So I can open that one up to review it, hopefully very soon. So uh, I, look, I look forward in, in doing that review. There you go. There's, so just... Remember to keep that notification on and to let you know when I will do that review, guys. It'll be very soon. But there's the back again. So there you go. All right, so here is Fisto. Now, they all come with a, with a new comic book, but unfortunately, guys, uh, the comic book is called Sucker Punched. And for some weird reason, I cannot find my comic book. Um, it's not with my other ones. So I must have read it somewhere and just, just put it down and just for, totally forgot about it. So hopefully I can find it soon, guys. But like I said, every wave comes with a, their own unique comic book. So there he is. There's Fisto. And he looks right out of, like, he looks like he comes right out of the uh, Filmation cartoon. And the Vincent style one. But there, there is the action shot. Some beautiful artwork, of course. Him taking on Jitsu. With his action call out and his posing and stuff like that. And all the, of course, other figures in the line with him. And of course, here he is. I do have a loose version of him. There we go. Now, unfortunately, they did not uh, in the in the original uh, vintage uh, Mass Universe line. Uh, he would be able to like like you can his hand would go up and down basically. But they won't let. But this you cannot do this with this. Unfortunately, it would have been cool though. But I wouldn't like like it if they did like a twist action that like you can like twist the body and like boom like boom like like punching somebody. If they would we would do another fisto, or they could change it up and they could like redo it. I would have liked to see like a twisting action, like boom like that. There you go. So there you go. There he is, from side to side. Is about that same five and a half feet, guys. Same as those vintage figures as well. Comes with that uh, purple, like triclops and uh, coldar sword, but just made in purple. And this is what he looked like back in the 80s. Came out in 1984. And this is what he looked like. You can see that action feature that happened. Like, you can press his arm up and down, and it just swings back. It just swings down. And then this is what he looked like from the eighties. And this is what he's. So a very cool figure to have, and one of my favorites, guys. Not my top three now, but he's he actually is one of my favorites. There you go. And of 
course, you can't have Fisto. And we'll do a review on this particular guy soon. But you can't have Fisto without his horse or his best friend or of Stridor. But there you go. There's Stridor with Fisto. There he is. From the back. And to the side. Let's see if we put him in. So we can put him inside the. Uh, there you go. Good old Fisto right there. Ready to take on like the bad guys. So very cool character to have, guys. There you go. Get him out and put Strato off to the side. Now, you know, I'm curious, guys. I got a question. Now, so you know, with, we did receive the Roton, and for some strange reason, um, the Roton did not come with a flight stand, which was weird. Uh, I know you can use like the flight stand with the Wind Raider and stuff like that. I'm curious, and I've never really tried this. I don't think I'm gonna try it. You know, um, do you think the Roton would work on this? Let me know if you tried it yet. All right, so we'll do another review. We'll do a review on Stridor uh, when the time comes. But back to good old Fisto here. Has that filmation style look and feel, especially in the face, guys. And you can pop the head off if you wish. Snaps right back on. Even even this arm can be pulled off too if you wish, and uh, change it out for a different arm for maybe like a normal arm maybe. Snaps right on. You can pull them for customization, and they snaps right on. So, a great figure to have, guys. But mine seems to be very, very loose, I guess, because I've had him sitting in the strider for the longest time. But, uh, but he still stands up with no problems. But I do miss that action feature they, they removed from the vintage. And I really do, I don't know, if they redo it again, or, like, do a, a re-release of him, I hope they will, like, give him that, that action feature that, that happened back in the, in the 80s. But maybe change it up. Maybe do it this way and like maybe 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 they did have that way back in the days. I never had Fisto. Uh, he was one of the figures I wasn't able to get when I was a kid. So tell me in in the comments below. Did they? I'm I'm sure they did because I'm sure because they had that twist motion and then boom. That's I prefer that way of Fisto. Boom. If they had to redo it again and make another Fisto and give him the action feature like i would always have him like hitting like boom like punching somebody like right straight on boom like that but there you go guys there's a quick look at fisto all right tomorrow hopefully um we'll be doing um merman from the lords of power this guy right here okay so look for that uh, review tomorrow Unless, unless I'm able to get He Skeletor tomorrow, I hope. But remember, and right now, let's put him next to Faker. You can see the uh, now the camera doesn't really show it, but there are some slight differences in color of, of he, Faker's a light, a little bit of a light blue than He Skeletor. It is much darker. So there you go, guys. There's a look at uh, the first figure in Wave 5 of Fisto. A fan favorite and a must-have for every collector in the line. And like I said, tomorrow, guys, we'll be looking at uh, Merman from Lords of the Power. Unless he's Skeletor. Uh, my friend has his, his uh, three... And I'm hoping to be, to be able to buy one of them. So, once again, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for all my new subscribers, guys. Uh, if you made it this far, guys, and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, guys. 
it would mean so much and i you know i can keep and i love doing these videos i love reading your comments and just talking about master universe stuff like that uh please hit that thumbs up button guys and hit that notification bell when you know when i upload a new video every day so until then guys take care and i'll see you tomorrow